Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to discuss about Edge Micro Gateway deployment architecture. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apache platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need to uh, get an overview of uh, Apache Edge Micro Gateway, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Let's see Edge Micro Gateway deployment architecture in action. For example, let's say you have uh, a backend uh, service which will give you details of employees. Let's call this an employees API, which is running on multiple machines on your backend. Now, let's say you decided uh, uh, to use Edge Micro Gateway and do API management for these backend APIs. A mobile application or a particular client wants to access these APIs, and let's see how the Edge Micro Gateway fits into this uh, architecture style. As you know, this uh, client can be within your enterprise firewalls, internet, or it can be uh, in, in, in internet domain, like a mobile application, web application, trying to access this particular web service. First thing that you do is you create an API proxy on the cloud, on the Apache Edge cloud, uh, which is in the internet, and then you install and configure the micro gateways which can be multiple to balance the load using a load balancer like Nginx. You can have n number of micro gateway uh, instances running on different machines inside uh, in your on-premises. You're going to push this particular API proxy that you created in Apache Edge Cloud to the micro gateways that are running in on-premises, which is going to take the traffic and process uh, and do the API management. You enforce uh, various uh, API management functionality using policies. In Micro Gateway, these are plugins which are Node.js based. Micro Gateway is actually Node.js based implementation which is very lightweight. Let's say whenever clients uh, try to access the API slash employees through internet or internet, then the call goes to Nginx load balancer which goes to the Micro Gateway where your API gets executed. If uh, API is secured using access tokens, uh, these tokens uh, in the Micro Gateway implementation is actually JAR tokens which are, can be verified using a signed key so that you don't need to go to Edge Cloud to verify this valid token or not before you give access to the APIs. If it is an API key, then a call is made uh, to Edge Cloud to verify the key and then uh, key is exchanged uh, for the JAR tokens which is cached inside the micro gateway so that whenever next time an API call comes with an API key, then it will be verified directly from micro gateway. Generally use JAR tokens instead of uh, API keys which are more scalable and secure. Once you verify the JAR token, then uh, you will call the backend API. Generally, if there are more machines, then you have a load balancer, which is load balancing to your backend workloads. Whenever a response uh, goes back uh, through the micro gateway to the client, we capture a lot of metrics. These metrics are again pushed to the cloud uh, so that you can able to see the reports. That's how uh, the entire micro gateway uh, architecture works in real time whenever you expose the APIs through uh, the micro gateway, which is in your on-premise to various clients. You can also able to uh, run these micro gateways as a Docker container so that you can scale up and down based on the need. Micro gateway is actually a Node.js based simple application that runs inside your on-premises to do API management. It works like an API gateway, but you leverage cloud for uh, building your APIs as well as uh, creating API products and uh, uh, doing the API management uh, as a control plane on the cloud. But the runtime will be the micro gateway which sits inside your on-premise. That's a quick introduction to deployment architecture of uh, Edge Micro Gateway. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in comment.apache.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to YouTube channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues.